New job opportunities are on the way to downtown Indianapolis. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Stair. And I'm Andrea Moorhead in for Emory Turn in tonight at 6. Columbus Bay's Cummings announced today they will now build a brand new distribution headquarters on the south half of the old Market Square Arena site. The office will employ 250 people that are now working in existing offices in Columbus and Indianapolis but it will have room to, for up to 400 employees total. Now besides office space, the plans also call for a garage, retail on the first floor, as well as public green space. It's not often as a city you get a Fortune 160 company who says they want to bring a, a, a headquarter, a business unit here and, and build a campus, right? This isn't just, hey, we want to locate you know, some jobs in your city. We want to build a campus. Eyewitness News City Beat reporter Mary Mills is downtown near the spot where Cummins intends to build. Mary? Well, what this does is it brings a Fortune 500 company with a lot of well-paid employees to an area the city's been trying to redevelop for years. They finally did it. They finally did it. It's a lot going up around downtown. It's a lot. Damon Franklin has been shining shoes here at City Market for seven years. Nothing but polish and elbow work. Wondering what would finally go in the parking lots across the street. He's glad to hear it's Cummins. Their new building will ultimately house 400 employees, including those now working out of the One America building. It means hopefully more shoes, more people in the market, more work, more repairs. Makes for a great day. Guys, start something for you? Sam Taylor couldn't agree more. He owns Jumbos at City Market since 1973. We're, we're happy that they're doing some development in this quadrant on this side of the downtown area. Of course, it will mean a lot of nearby construction. Phase two of artistry is now underway, with developers soon breaking ground on that adjacent residential tower, but Taylor isn't complaining. We love seeing the construction. The construction workers coming in uh, is helpful. Downtown's very important. Cummins' John Mills says while the company considered other locations, this one stood out for several reasons. Proximity to the airport, we needed a central location. He says they also liked access to things like the cultural trail, and it helped to get some financial incentives from the city. The parking lot, tax abatement, and three million for things like new curbs and sidewalks. The incentives are, are, are part of the deal and important and one factor of a variety of factors. Taylor has time to prepare for the influx. The new building won't be finished until late 2016, but he says that's okay. We're looking forward to see a bunch of people come down and see the city market thrive again. And Cummins hopes to break ground here uh, sometime before year's end. First, though, the City County Council has to sign off on that financial package. Live downtown, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Mary.